story of day and night, a wise man from 2,500 years ago. So as you see, what he tried to teach us, he tried to teach us these three universal truth laws, which one should implement in their daily life. One is this, one is this, nothing is lost in this universe. Whatsoever the action, whatsoever the karmas, whatsoever the thinking we do, it's all registered and it's not lost in the universe. Later or sooner, it's going to come back to you. Like Ishfaq Ahmed Ishfaq say, if you do some bad with somebody, wait, that should return back to you. And if you should, if you do something good, even then you wait. Sooner or later, that is going back to you. And the third one is everything chases. Even the flow of the water in the river or a stream does not come second time. Similarly, in the universe, the God has given us one life. It is not going to give back. So it is better to spend the way it should be as good as possible for the betterment of yourself and the society. And the third one is law of cause and effect. We discuss astrophysics, it's famous Stephen Hawkins. He worked a lot on this. In this universe, whatsoever is the cause, it is going to affect. It can be good, it can be bad. So if we start with the good cause, it is going to affect in the good ways. And few things we don't understand because we can't see it, we can't judge it, we can't feel it. So similarly in the physics, whenever we say metaphysics, it means this phenomena is unexplainable like a Bermuda Triangle, like many other things. Similarly, it says what is metaphysics? It encompasses everything that exists as well as the nature of existence itself. And there is hypothesized that we live in the seven parallel worlds. Seven parallel worlds, it might be a reflection. Metaphysics says whether the world is real or merely an illusion. What is illusion? It's opposite of disillusion. Something is there, but we don't feel it. And it is the fundamental view of the world around us. So now the question arises, how to attain these states? How to transcend ourselves? How to overcome these human deficiencies? So spiritual leaders and mystics says, how we can, first of all, we should have a firm belief on our religiousness and spirituality. It gives a new life, it gives you new thoughts and appreciate the beauty. Be it a beauty of nature, be it a beauty of human beings, be a beauty of anything which you like, which amazed you. It changes your transcendence. And similarly, one thing we have missed in our life, humor. We don't want to get humor and we don't want to get it. So if you want to change yourself, there should be humor in your life. Similarly, gratitude. If we are depressed, like Zaid Asghar Sahib was saying, see the life of disabled people, differently able people, how they are in prison to a chair, yet they enjoy their life to their fullest. So we should be gratitude what we have. And then being a leader, we should be a powerhouse of hope. Never give an hopeless expression to your juniors, to your seniors. So, Amad, please be the Wadi Jega. Be from there. So this was my preamble for the story. One day, a wise man saw in a farmhouse what was happening. A farmer was doing brutality with an ox. He was amazed why this is happening. So using his metaphysical powers, he talks with the divine personality or divine mercy or the God in the thoughts that you have made this world so beautiful where you can see the flowing waters, where you can see the flowers, where you can see the poetry, where you can see the many beauty things. Then why this injustice? Why this inhuman attitude? Why this all the stuff which is bad for the universe is happening? So he went to the meditation under the tree. Day comes, day goes. His meditation keeps on going. 
to search the answer in this beautiful world why all these bad things are happening and then at one fine morning the divine power gave him the answer the life is day and night in the problems they work like in day and night like day comes and then sunset and then again night comes and then again so similarly problem comes and problem goes so one should remember this throughout their life this is an whenever we are alive we have to face all this so this was all about my today's story thank you very much today as toastmaster we learn by doing we learn to speak we learn leadership and leadership requires experimenting leadership requires doing things differently so today's table topic normally a table topic session is structured in a way that you come you are given a topic on the spot and you have to do an extempore speech for 2 minutes a maximum of 2 and a half minutes so and a minimum of 1 minute so staying here uh, and normally people people feel and then they express that during table topic they feel the longest 2 minutes of their life but today i have structured the table topic in such a way that i hope that you will also enjoy and it will not seem the longest 2 minutes of your life so sir this is mine i have come up with a new idea any volunteer who comes here will pick six of these chits six six of these chits and you will open one chit and whatever the word is written you have to formulate a story on it after 20 seconds on every 20 second i will ring that bell now i will use the bell for this purpose like after 20 second i'll ring the bell you open the next chit and whatever the word is written you continue the story whatever the structure is like this you continue the story with that word or you can connect the story with that word so by the time the sixth chit is open you will have completed 2 minutes so the last chit when you open the last chit then you are supposed to finish your speech within the next 30 seconds so in this way you will not be going out of the time limit and you will be finishing your story so am i clear to every one of you yes are we going to continue the same story sorry you yeah you continue the same story okay, okay so, like you start the story yes. and after 20 second you open the next chart for example let me just give you an example if i open the word this is mars so i can start that one day a person who was traveling to the mars and he passes through moon and earth and then when he was reaching to the mars suppose 20 seconds are up the second word is wood on arrival on the mars he saw some trees but normally that's not possible but you need to just fiction make possible. make it a uh, make it a story right i'm supposed to share the word as well directly starting yeah you can you don't share the word but you know uh, we we trust you that the word is there and you will like but anyway after after your speech ends we can have the chats and we can you know we can just recheck on it okay so the most difficult thing the most difficult decision is to one the one who would, would like to come first the word are very easy they are very generic words the there are three generic words right all are generic words and they all are nouns so you can easily chip in uh, those words into the story okay they are not verbs sorry q q and k pehle aaye so k k come first so what's your name ma'am Kosar. So, fellow Toastmaster, please put your hand together for guest Kosar. Yesterday, I was looking out of my window and I saw a bird. It was, it was a different kind of bird. I have never seen that kind of bird. It, the feather was quite 
multi shaded and i was looking at that bird and randomly i thought that is it like a fantasy bird or is it like a natural bird so i started writing about that bird on a page and while i was writing down i thought okay so as i watched lots of science fiction movies i would say what if that bird is like a unicorn and we were watching that bird okay so when i was watching the bird i because it was round in shape so i i don't know why but i randomly thought about a car and i started while i was thinking about car i uh, particularly focused on the tire of a car and i was like why i am talking about why i am thinking about the tire because it made no sense that i was first thinking about the bird then i was thinking about the page and then i thinking about the tire so that it taking a lot of time okay so i was feeling thirsty that time so i say okay let me get my mind out of this and let me make some lemonade for me so i went to the fridge and i opened the fridge and i pick out a lemon and i started making the lemonade for me and uh, so i started drinking that lemonade it was quite tasty and i was like okay and i then i stayed i stretched my attention to the bird and i thought oh, let me go back to the book i was writing about the bird and i should go there and then when i was going there i say okay maybe it a particular kind of bird i have never seen but it shouldn't be a fantasy maybe i'm reading too much novel nowadays so and then i started thought thinking about earth the earth is i said that there are lots of birds on the earth and how can a person know about a lot of birds it bring my attention to that i should maybe watch more national geographic channel and i should learn more about the word bird <laughs> today when i uh, you know wake up i just saw that uh, a vision board that i have on behind my board Uh, sorry behind my door and uh, my sister was uh, peeking around me uh, peeking around that door and she was calling me that uh, api wake up and make me some breakfast and then she suddenly started screaming that uh, you have to wake up and uh, make me a rabbit soup i was like i cannot cook a rabbit soup i don't even know how to defer the right Uh, and uh, she was like go grab a rabbit from our garden that we have over there and uh, i was like i can not even hold a rabbit near myself and she she was like no i gromandizes rabbit soup a lot i gromandizes rabbit soup a lot and uh, and uh, she was you know she was showing me a photograph that uh, of a rabbit soup that she she was uh, explaining me that you you know how to cook it you you have been cooked it before and i was not very comfortable with uh cooking the rabbit soup and uh, suddenly she said let let us skip a coin if a, if it's a head then we are going to cook it and if it's a tail then i am going to cook it i was like that's stupid we cannot do it i'm not going to do it any at at a cost and even look at the her guts she was asking me for a coin and she was also asking me for her to cook her a meal and then she said let's have a, an election she said let's have an election and we will get a voting from everyone in the house who's going to cook the rabbit soup because everyone want to gromandize their rabbit soup which i was not comfortable in and uh, you know and then comes the best part of the story there was a snake in my room and i was like you know of the ninth cloud i was like i'm very much scared of every reptile that exists on this planet earth and that is skin oh sorry snake was like oh you can even imagine there are six oh, okay. seven <laughs> and uh, it's it's same okay fine this is the seventh chit first planet you can finish your story okay so at the end of the day and i am a very stubborn person i did not cook her any rabbit soup and i was very determined about it <laughs> Assalamu alaikum to all today uh, I'm here to speak about the uh, the word like a catch means I don't like catching because the it is the work of the 
the sportsmen means as well as the cricketers because the cricketers they can catch easily and the girls they cannot catch easily and the also we cannot catch the government dice people because they are, they they can catch each and everything in a one in a one minute and they are too much clever okay so we, can you vote for government dice people no we cannot uh, vote for the government dice people because it is too difficult to catch out or to uh, to vote for government dice people and government dice people are too much uh, too much greedy people they they do not they they don't don't have the any and also i have seen the many of the people they are there are a large number of people they cannot vote for themselves as well they cannot vote for the other people but they are just waiting for the other people as well and also i can say that the other people glass okay so the when the government dice people or uh, when the other people or government dice people they see any glass of water mango juice each and everything so they do not think about the other people just they have it and they do and they gourmandizing on that time so on that time we so on that time they shouldn't do like this kind of the thing but the situations are there then when we are in formal gathering so on that time we shouldn't do any gourmandizing but when we are in uh, Okay, so as far as uh, we are discussing about the government dice people, so government dice people they have the different kinds of abilities. Means they can just have and just uh, sleeping. They are uh, they are needy people or just to uh, they love to uh, sleep as well. Thank you. It was I think seventh. Okay, so mobile phone is the uh, one of the best advantage uh, invention. of the in this world because by the mobile phone we can con communicate with other people and we can uh, talk with other people especially there are many apps in the uh, many apps in the mobile phone as well as means uh, like a whatsapp by whatsapp we can communicate with our relatives with each and everybody thank you sir in the morning i saw a lizard in my room and suddenly i shocked and uh, i'm really afraid of lizard and uh, and, and i saw a bottle and uh, uh, throw it on a, on uh, the lizard and uh, i started e eating uh, eating up my government dice food then i really like i really like noodles and uh, i like uh, uh, packaged food too much uh, my sister told me that uh, this is not good and uh, if you want to be a footballer if you want to use uh, footballs in the future you have you don't have to eat dead food you will be dead <laughs> in the future so you have to eat government diet food or good quality food um, and you have to take sunlight in the morning because it's very good for vitamin d in the body and uh, and uh, i like i really like to play with the magnets and uh, i like catching things with it uh, i mean catching my all the pins that i Uh, messed up on the floors <laughs> when I do artwork, and uh, I <laughs> just hate my university boys. Thank you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I like oranges, and it is difficult to <laughs> pronounce the word gourmandize. But I, I would rather gourmandize <laughs> oranges. and it is good that if one gets oranges in this hot weather ah oranges on mars very difficult to get they are you get only on the world earth wool <laughs> so when it is hot days summer days my family and especially the elder ladies they get wool from the market and they try and prepare for the winter wood <laughs> so wood trees unfortunately pakistan we are suffering from climate change and it is so unfortunate that people they cut or cut trees everywhere and they make a lot of wood to sell it is unfortunate we should rather plant trees to get the wood to get the plants and environment change we must resist clock it is about the time i say thanks to you it's over <laughs> <laughs>